Hello everybody, how are you doing? Today we're going to be looking at the media interaction. That is the assessment where you interact with any media that you choose. Firstly, let's get one thing straight. You all consume media, probably too much of it, but there's a lot of really good media out there to consume. This assessment is all about how you interact with different media. And for the sake of this task, you'll be picking one piece of media to interact with. Let's have a look. We now return to When Buildings Collapse on Nonstop Fox. Elise, want to join us? Room for one more. We're watching the TV. Man has always loved his buildings. But what happens when the buildings say no more? The best part was when the buildings fell down. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe people got hurt. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and now, a Channel 6 editorial reply. Boring. And now, when surgery goes wrong. All right, sounds good. A little video from my childhood where we see Bart and Homer mindlessly consuming media and quite often we are mindless when we are consuming media and that is why we do this task it is all about you and the media that you consume so what have you consumed today it might be first thing in the morning and all you've done is look at your phone and maybe scroll through some of your social media or it might be late at night and you've spent the day on a video game or sitting in front of the tv watching netflix how much and in what forms did you consume your media today Take note of that. Write it down. What about the last week? How many hours do you think you've spent on it this week? This includes films, TV, social media, books, anything. How many hours do you think you have spent consuming media? See if you could tally it up. Check your phone. I know some phones will give you a screen time reading. But then think about your laptop, TV, computer, all of those things. Regardless of what you might think, you consume a lot of media. Whether it's in the form of TV, films, social media, comic books, newspapers, magazines, whatever it is, there's a lot of it. However, it is often passive and we often don't think about how it impacts us or why we like or dislike a thing. We just let it happen as we watch it. And, we, and that's fine. It's great to just enjoy media. These holidays, I've been playing a couple of games that are super, super mindless and it's exactly what I wanted to do. This assessment is about how you interact with media. Okay, so have a think about the stuff that you're already using. Let's have a look at what it says on the SACE board. So students undertake one media interaction study on a topic of their choice, either individually or in a group. You're going to be doing it individually. Okay, no group work for this one. Students interact with media and analyze their interactions. The topic that students choose should be based on their current or past media experience and their access to a variety of media resources. So what that means is something you're either using now or have used in the past and what you have access to reasonably, okay? So what can you get? I don't want you going out and spending lots of money on this. Ideally, I don't want you spending any money on this. However, in the past, some kids have gone and bought video games and things like that. But I don't expect you to do that at all. There is so much free content that you can use at the moment, uh, even more so right now. So, SACE gives some ideas of what we could use. Interactive games, i.e. video games. You want to make sure they're RPGs or story-based games that allow you to interact with either the game or if there's an online component, the people online. Now, that might include games like Fortnite because that is an online game. However, personally, I think it's easier if the games you're using have some sort of story attached to them. However, you can totally, if you can convince me otherwise, go for it. The use of media to investigate career options and pathways within the media. Is there any jobs you're interested in? What jobs are there in the media these days? You can use the interaction for that. Use of converging media, such as mobile phones and the internet. 
They're pretty broad, but you can look at your usage of your phone or your usage of the internet or maybe internet cultures. It's up to you. Use of social networking sites. So this is social media, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, all those things. If you're using one already, maybe you you reflect a bit on how much you use that or if there's something you'd want to try out, go for it. Experience with cult media content. Year 12, you guys have just watched a bunch of cult films. This is your opportunity to explore that more if you would like to and have a look at some of the other major cult films in the past. Experience with TV, television genres. Uh, this is looking at television series, which are usually genre, genre uh, series. Um, this can be a little bit passive and I can find it, some people have found it difficult in the past. However, go for it. Uh, now, experience with an advertising campaign involving several media. I. I mean, if you're interested in advertising, talk to me, all right? But otherwise, maybe not that one. Experience of music on various media, such as mobile phones, television, the internet. This is all about using different music platforms. Some people have looked at using Spotify. Others have looked at using things like SoundCloud and various other things like that. Anything free. And then the last one, use of new technologies and ways of adapting and adopting them for work, leisure, or educational purposes. So this is about new technology in your everyday life. This can be, though, new programs you're using on your computer. It can be uh, new software or new apps that you're using. I've had people use mindfulness apps and have a look at how that works with them. A uh, lot of freedom there. Students identify and outline the topic, so one of the ones we've just talked about. They want to study and then choose the form in which they present their findings. The length and form of response will vary depending on the topic and approach chosen. Tro chosen. Chosen. Whether undertaking the media interaction study individually or in a group, you're doing it individually, each student presents an individual response, which should be a maximum of 800 words if primarily written or a maximum of five minutes if primarily oral or a five-minute video report. You've got 800 words or five minutes, either spoken or video, and you'd be spoken stuff in your video too. It's up to you how you do that. I don't mind. So what do you want to do? This assessment is about you. It's reflective. You're using personal language. It can be on any media you like. Okay, and I suggest you pick something that you're interested in because you're going to spend a good part of two weeks with that piece of media. So, what media do you consume right now? What media might you want to use? So, get a pen and paper and write down, if you're watching Netflix, what films have you watched? Go through watch again that watch again list on Netflix. What TV shows have you watched? YouTube. What YouTube channels have you been watching? Okay. What video games have you been playing? Get a big list of all the different types of media you've been using, the apps you've been using, what social media you've been using. And when you're looking at those lists and writing it down, see if there's any themes in there. Are you starting to discover that there's a genre of film or TV that you really like or a genre of video game that you really like? Or is there a type of social media that you enjoy? Okay, I want to get a good idea of what that is. Next, what might you want to use? Okay. Do you want to experience something new? Do you want to play with a new app? Do you want to use a new platform for music or for film? Do you want to use a new piece of software? It's all up to you. Think about all the different types of media out there. Maybe things you've heard about or video games you'd like to play or directors that you've heard are really good and you might want to watch a collection of their films. Okay. It's up to you what you do there. Spend some time with this. You might want to pause this now and spend a bit of time thinking about that before we move on. All right, so this will be the cover sheet for both year 11s and 12s. The criteria on the back will be different for stage one and stage two, obviously. This is exactly what I went through in the PowerPoint. I just wanted to reiterate these things here. Draft deadline, week four, term two, end of the week, 3.30, 3.20. It's week four. So you've got four weeks. I would be spending two weeks interacting, maybe three, and then a week writing or two weeks writing. And then your final is due week five, term two, end of the week. All right. 
what will probably happen is week four, in week five is I won't give you time to work on that in class. We will start with a new task, all right? Word count 800 words or five minutes, video or oral, all right? Referencing, if you need to reference whatever you're interacting with, okay, but only reference it once. You don't need to do that every time you mention it, just in your first line that you say, I'm going to be, I've done this, I've done this interaction with this media, okay? But any research you do, okay, you need to also have your referencing there, okay? And again, this is what I went through in the PowerPoint. This will be on the cover sheet as well, okay? Now, this is a guide, a stress guide, okay? This doesn't fit with everything that you choose. Essentially, you can present this task any way you wish, okay? You just need to be discussing your interaction with it, okay? And how it made you feel, think, and what you thought of it, all right? So this is a guide that you can use interaction with it, deeper research, okay? So research the media type, okay? What influences them? I say that's the creator, impact it has on the audience, okay? Has it created a an extended audience that really enjoy the whatever media type it is, okay? And then once you've done a bit of research, do you have any questions about the usage, okay? Think about ethics, representations, influences, all these things. Okay, spend a bit of time with this. So you might want to get your interaction, your interacting done in a, in two weeks and then a week spent doing some researching and thinking and going over some of the notes you've taken. Okay, reflect on your overall experience. If you're doing it written, you can include photos, uh, any of these things, okay? Uh, and uh, Sorry, even if you're doing a video, obviously you might have some photos and videos. If you're doing audio, you might want to have include a, 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 some snippets of it, some audio snippets. It's up to you. That is the task. In the next few videos, I'll show you some examples. Okay, I'm gonna do a video example and an audio example, and I guess I'll do a written example as well. All right, so good luck and take care.